Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and our Phillies are able to just ink out a win 4-3 to three tonight over the Baltimore Orioles, the worst team in baseball. It wasn't easy, but the Phillies do win the series two games to three. Unfortunately for our Phillies, the fellow division foe, Atlanta Braves, are up 6-1 to one on the D-backs. And unless if there's a miracle, you don't really see a comeback from the Diamondbacks in that situation. But on the one bright side, the Diamondbacks do have Mad Bum, who ain't the same Mad Bum, has a four-something ERA now at this point of his career, but maybe he can turn back the clock a little bit and have some success against the Braves in the final game. And the Phillies can win the first game of the Pittsburgh series and make up a game there since it doesn't look like they're due so tonight. But all the Phillies are able to do is get that W... That's really all they can do. Um, just keep getting the W's and then keep doing their thing. There's nothing else the Phillies can do. They don't control the division. The Braves do, of course. And um, they just need to keep doing their thing and keep winning their own games and then hope the Braves are able to lose. They play the Padres this weekend after the last game against the Diamondbacks tomorrow. Hopefully the Braves are able to lose in that event, since they are doing really, really solid tonight. But when it comes to tonight's games, the key is defense, which is not often that we say that. Didi made that nice play up the middle to keep it 2-2. If that got up the middle, the Orioles could have took the lead there. Matt Veerling made the beautiful play at first base. And then, of course, you have Bryce Harper's throw to home plate on that beautiful play as well so that is three plays on defense you don't talk about that often with the Phillies and then two nights in a row the walk-off hitting game two and then tonight JT Romuto steps up after they walk Bryce Harper to get a big hit you had Gene Segura hit the sack fly then you had Andrew McCutcheon step up big when the Phillies offense seemed obsolete yet again responded to Deuces Rogers on Twitter with Wiley the Coyote looking like this through a um, telescope trying to find the Phillies offense and then we eventually found it and I responded with the Olaf thing, look what I found. Um, so the Phillies were able to just get enough ink out with a 4-3 to three win. Ian Kennedy was just able to get the save. Nothing's ever easy in this town when it comes to Philadelphia Phillies baseball. Is it of late people? But they're able to get the win. Zach Wheeler pitches great again. He's having a fantastic September. Not as good of an August at 3-3, three and three, owning it in September. Having a great ERA and striking out people left and right. Doing it again tonight. And then it was shaky. Cam Bedrosian got saved by the defense, but he did get saved by the defense, and that's all that matters. And then Ian Kennedy was able to close it down, albeit not very sexy, but, you know, he got the job done, and that is all that matters. So the Phillies get the win. They move on to play the Pittsburgh Pirates at home here. Obviously, they have to play them much better, one, than they played the Orioles, and two, much better than they did last series. No, Pittsburgh's not really better than the Orioles, but their offense does score a little bit more than Baltimore, like at least four runs at times because they have some more catch in there than the Orioles do. So the Phillies are not going to be able to score two runs, three runs. Hopefully this offense can get churning and get four or more runs a game. It was nice to get at least four tonight. Always get the win off of the back of a great performance of Wheeler. Coonrod pitching through a shaky inning but keeping it at two due to thanks to the defense, the great play of Gregorius up the middle. And then Campbell Drozier not pitching well but getting helped by the defense of Matt Vierling and Bryce Harper. Those are the key plays of tonight's game. The three defensive plays I highlighted in this video. And then McCutcheon's home run to get the offense going. And then JT's hit, again, stepping up big. Those are the key plays. As well as, obviously, be it not pretty, you always have to give a guy, when he ever closes the game, a key play. In Ian Kennedy, although I would not say um, I would give him a good grade for that save, but at least he got it done. A win is a win. A save is a save. I hope you all enjoyed this short reaction video on the Phillies' 4-3 to win over the Baltimore Orioles. A big win going into playing the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hopefully they can get this sweep in this four-game series, but hopefully the Phillies can at least take three out of four. Got to play the Pirates much better than last time. I got to play them much better than you played the Orioles in this series. Get scoring some runs, boys, but they won the series, and a win is a win, and a series win is a win. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. Please like and subscribe down below, and also you can subscribe up top here as well on the figure to subscribe to make it easier if you want to do that, and then just like and comment down below. We appreciate your support. Please share as well if you really like the content. We do appreciate it. Have a great, safe, pleasant day. Go Phillies, and let's keep winning tomorrow as we welcome Pittsburgh, excuse me, into Philadelphia. Peace out, everybody.